So as I said in our last video, I want to talk about calculating your trigger angle or rather setting your base timing in this video. And as you can see, we are at the MX-5 engine again because we want to set the trigger angle here and I can show it pretty well. If you want to support us, you can become a channel member and help with our efforts of bringing tuning to the masses. To those who already do, I thank you a lot and appreciate what you do. First of all, what we want to do is if you have a timing mark on your crank pulley, you want to put your engine to top dead center or TDC or whatever you want to call it. If you don't have a marking on there, then pull out a spark plug and put in a screwdriver. I'm going to do that real quick. Give me one second. Okay, so if we pull out one spark plug, as I said. not happen and then pull it out there we are we have our spark plug and then what we are doing we put a screwdriver in the hole you will see it's uh, hidden right now but when we turn the crankshaft it will come up. Obviously, a lot of you should know this trick. And when it's at the highest point, we should be at TEC. This should be around the highest point. Why do we know that? Well, because I have a TDC marking right here. But if you aren't sure, what you can do is you can use a dial indicator to check the highest point and what you also need to make sure that you are in the right stroke so the thing is a, obviously a four stroke engine has uh, four strokes or rather uh, it rotates the crankshaft one time uh, twice every rotation of the camshafts and so it needs to be in the correct stroke so either you can uh, check if you are in the right one if the timing marks light up or what you can also do, you can calculate your uh, trigger angle well, and then if it doesn't work, if it's not firing, if it's firing in the exhaust or whatever, uh, in the intake or whatever, uh, then you can just add 360 degrees and then you will have the same thing. Okay, so I transitioned to my phone camera because it's a lot easier to show. And we are at the same position again, so as you can see here, those two markings are our TDC markings. So, well, on an MX-5, you would think that that is TDC. I've lined up these two dots. Actually, the dot to the left is our top dead center dot. So, we want to line that up with the T. And that's our actual TDC on the MX-5 or Miata. So, if you have a Miata specifically, that's how you want to go. But usually, if you have a one mark on your pulley, it will be your TDC mark. And we have our crank sensor down here. So, this one. In my case, I have a 36-2 trigger wheel. So, the thing is, what we want is that we have one or two missing teeth, depending on what setup you have. And we want actually to turn the crank so we are currently at tdc we want to turn the crank until the first tooth after the missing teeth is right here so at the crank sensor what you can do is, if you want to be precise, you can use a degree wheel mounted on here. But I'm just going to estimate it because, well, that is okay for me. It doesn't really matter for me because I already know the correct position. And I will just turn it now.
there we have our gap with the missing teeth and that's about our first tooth touching the crank sensor well that's not very accurate it is an estimation and how much you have turned the crankshaft that is your trigger angle how many degrees you've turned that that is your trigger angle in my case it's about 180 degrees so i put that into the studio and it ran obviously you will still need a timing light to determine base timing but that is so you can at least get your engine running in the studio i'm now opening up my trigger settings because we need to adjust the trigger advance and i'm also going to in my ignition settings set the timing to fixed timing if you have a tdc mark so if you have a direct tdc mark set this to zero and then you want to aim for tdc i do have a 10 degree mark and a tdc mark and so i'm gonna use the 10 degree mark uh, to line it up but you probably will need a tdc mark so uh, at zero degrees and that's basically it okay so i've also hooked up my timing light now it has power so i've uh, powered it with the plus wire that's going to the uh, starter and then i've put a my ground clamp here and here i'm gonna have my inductive clamp i'm gonna see if that's enough or if i need to uh, use one of the ground wires or one of the trigger wires but uh, we'll see if it works i'm gonna start the engine now so I hope you can see this. Yeah, okay. I'm about 10 degrees off from where it should be. So I'm gonna change my trigger angle 10 degrees. Uh, well, I think the other way around. Like this, and then I'll check. Sounds a little better. Looks like I'm bang on. You can't really tell, I hope you can tell. And that's basically everything you need to do. That's it. It's now running at 10 degrees. And I can now, on ignition, set it to dynamic again. Oh, okay, and yeah, pretty much done. Oh, it's running very rich. And that's how you set base timing or calculate your uh, trigger advance if you don't know it 100% uh, uh, or like if you don't have a base value to start off of. The problem is on some engines where it's in the crankcase, it's really hard to get the trigger angle because you can't actually see it, but... Um, the other way you could do it is if you use the trigger angle and um, advance it 20 degrees at a time and check when the car starts. I did that in the other video. So that would be another method to do it if you really don't know where it is and really don't have a point to go off of. For example, if you use a engine that's not very uh, commonly used and has a trigger sensor on the back on the flywheel and you can't see it. Um, that would be a method to do it or just uh, use your timing light while cranking and then you can also get it in a ballpark and uh, adjust it then when the engine is running.